Let's hear the Opera. Okay. So, so with Opera, we're we're just releasing uh, Opera for devices, Opera 9.5 for devices, and this is a really an SDK kit for Linux-based devices, enabling uh, full uh, web experience uh, in, in portable media players, uh, set the boxes, uh, and this type type of applications. So uh, one of the examples is uh, the Arcos uh, 65. I'm making use of. Uh, I cannot show you the, the functionality of it because yeah. we don't have any Wi-Fi connection here. Okay. But uh, making use of Opera and Opera widgets to enable a good, uh, good web experience and uh, web-based uh, applications yeah. for extending the bandwidth. Also, also show uh, a reference board from Freescale here. This is uh, based on the IMX31 chipset. So this is a large size reference board, but. Uh, in, uh, in sizes fitting in, in the portable media player, so, so pretty small. Mm. And here we have an Opera version with uh, bundling flash, uh, Flashlight 3.1. Uh, so that's available directly yeah. to, to customer of the uh, press Our, our main, uh, main goal is to be very, very much standard supporting, so focusing on the latest web standards. The V3C standards is always supported by Opera. We also strive to have a very high performance on the bed side. So many of the other Windows has less standard support and less performance on embedded. Right. So Opera, Opera do deliver over a broad range of operating systems and, and, uh, and devices. So down to 66 megahertz, uh, up to, to like you see the Wii and the desktop market. So what do you think about Firefox going mobile? Is that it? Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, it's uh, reasonable to, to go that route as well. But they also come from a, a very desktop-centric product. So Opera has been on the embedded side for, for many, many years. So we have a strong handling of the auto memory techniques, uh, limited footprint, and efficiency both, uh, both uh, for, for using as little CPU cycles uh, as possible. And you, you see this uh, comparing uh, uh, the ECMAScript engines, for example, in Firefox and Opera. So Opera performs very good on the embedded side. We'll co continue to focus on porting, porting to many operating systems and, and being strong on the embedded mobile side and uh, right. delivering on the devices. And, uh, comparing to Firefox, also Opera has the, the professional organization. In, in, in general, when delivering to these kind of devices, you need a strong support organization taking care of the bugs and handling this over time. So I think uh, that's, that's what Opera is strong at. Tell us more about the, uh, the plugins and the widgets yes. for Opera. Yeah, well, uh, the plugin uh, architecture we, we do with this version support is uh, extended plugin uh, interface. It's a, it's a standard uh, that's uh, developed by the Mozilla and the Opera and Safari. So it allows you to do better scripting between ECMAScript and the plugins, allowing uh, communication between this and uh, more powerful plugins really. We also have the, the Opera native JavaScript extensions allowing you to execute native code uh, from, from special uh, constructed plugins in the embedded space. And this is generally used to hook up, uh, say, video functionality or, or target uh, specific uh, functionality. Right. So, widgets? Oh, widgets, yes. Uh, this is uh, the, the small, small application, web-based applications that we're releasing also on uh, a lot of embedded systems. So, you can have uh, special applications entirely web-based doing uh, weather widgets or, or uh, news feeds and uh, small games and stuff like this. This is one of the things we're uh, releasing on the Oracle uh, 605 uh, at the moment. So Opera, Opera Video is enabling the, the users of the Oracle to expand the, the, the applications on the, on the device. Right. We also see this in the TV space where, where we see these videos as services uh, pretty much. Uh, uh, they, they want to embed, embed web components or web applications for showing weather service on a localized basis or, or small news feeds or connecting this to video clips. Okay. Final question. Um, do you think we're going to see uh, Opera on the iPhone? Uh, yes. Okay.